is set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. On the return, here's Edmonds. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. First down is Murray. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Arizona. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Looking for pitch. Gerald, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28 yard line. Intercepted. The Giants take over first and 10 at the 20. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Throwing Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket but they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Opening minute and already a trip to the red zone. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And it's caught, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones able to connect with Sterling Shepard. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or in Monday. Monday night, those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation and a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, OK, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown, so now 7-0. Oh, a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on the final play of this first quarter. And he'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Now Jones, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. That'll bring up second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Now Jones on first down. This will be caught at about the six. And the Giants are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, 
but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. He was looking for Caden Smith, the tight end, but now it's third and goal. Third and goal. Back to throw again. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Graham Gano on for the field goal. A 25-yard attempt. And the 11 yard second quarter but they do get three before the half and expand that lead and they have to be happy about that and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half they'll be real excited to have those up on the board ready to go with their next drive and at the line the cardinal offense to this point the results have not been good two possessions two turnovers and that's obviously something that can't continue but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's got some space here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before half for Murray. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third. Time. Picked up by James Bradbury. So we have. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Cardinals nothing. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. Throwing on first down. Jones completes this again to Shepard. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 38. Jones throw on target to Shepard. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down. Jones to Shepard, complete over the middle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 